Kevin's parents, along with other mesmerized visitors, watched in awe as their son strolled past the orca tank. Unlike usual, when these intelligent creatures kept their distance from the crowds, one magnificent orca mirrored Kevin's every step. As Kevin pressed his small hands against the glass, the orca did something extraordinary. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. Five-year-old Kevin's parents had no idea what a remarkable day awaited them. The moment his father purchased their entrance tickets, Kevin was off, his excitement already bubbling over. Brian sighed as he hurried after his son, muttering to Lara, This is going to be a rough day. He turned, his voice firm. Kevin, stay with us. Kevin caught up in his own world, heard the words, but didn't seem to register the urgency. In a flash, he was already yards ahead. By the time his parents caught up, panting slightly, they found him eagerly awaiting the orca show at 4 p.m. This particular show, thanks to Kevin's adventurous spirit, would be watched by millions worldwide. Kevin, at that moment, was completely unaware of the impact he would soon make on the world. He approached the first tank, chattering away at a passing coral fish. A perfectly normal thing for a curious child. Yet within those few moments, everyone present caught a glimpse of Kevin's remarkable spirit. The fish swam on, and Kevin turned to his parents with a grin. The orca tank awaited on the other side of Ocean World, and he was eager for his encounter with the magnificent creatures. Remember Lucinda, Jasmine, Bella, and his absolute favorite, Delia? Kevin sprinted after his unexpected feat, still stunned by what he'd witnessed. Anticipation crackled in the air as everyone, including his camera-wielding parents, awaited his next encounter. An extraordinary gift, unique for his age and unseen before, bloomed within him. The world was about to witness its magic, for Kevin had reached his beloved orcas, and every lens was trained on him. Initially, the orcas moved serenely about the vast blue tank, tiny figures in the distance to Kevin and the captivated onlookers. But with a few gentle taps on the glass, a shift occurred. Dahlia, Kevin's favorite and the largest of the pod, broke away. Her approach was uncharacteristically swift, a change everyone noticed. She stopped directly in front of the special boy, turning a full circle to face him. Dahlia even opened her mouth in what seemed like a smile. It was a clear connection. Kevin was here for her, and she for him. Kevin moved his right hand, then traced a circle with his left. Mirroring the coral fish, Dahlia responded instantly, her massive snout following his lead. Even when he switched directions, the immense creature mirrored him perfectly. The astonished crowd witnessed an extraordinary sight, one that baffled even the staff. Photos and videos exploded onto YouTube, dominating the platform. After all, orcas are notoriously difficult to train. Years of painstaking effort go into teaching these majestic giants basic maneuvers. Yet, in mere minutes, Kevin seemed to surpass their most skilled handlers. And one special person had noticed that talent as well, because one of the casual overhead passers-by was none other than Lars Markson, the head trainer and co-owner of Ocean World. He worked with these animals for years and could really call himself an expert, but he was astonished when he saw Dahlia jump out of the water like this. So he ran over to his staff members to ask for an explanation. The situation was explained, and Lars walked up to young Kevin with wide eyes. Lars escorted Kevin outside the viewing area. With wide eyes, he asked, Little man, can I ask a huge favor? What Lars Markson requested that day, he would later call the best decision he'd ever made. The five-year-old Orca Whisperer, as the staff now called him, was invited to participate in the very show he'd been so excited to see earlier. It would be the highlight of their visit, but not in the way Kevin originally imagined. Instead of being a spectator, he would be captivating an audience of over 500 people, a far cry from the few onlookers earlier. Okay. Kevin squeaked, nerves bubbling up like fizzy soda. Who could have predicted their ordinary day at the park would take such an extraordinary turn? Would he recreate his earlier magic, even surpass it? No one knew. 
He dipped his fingers in the water, then thrust his right arm high. Closing his eyes, he bellowed, Delia. Gas rippled through the crowd as the massive orca launched meters into the air. Even the seasoned trainers, Lars included, were awestruck. Kevin's arms became conductors, guiding Dahlia's movements left, right, up, down. He flashed a confident nod to the attendants. The audience remained clueless, even Kevin's parents, a knot of nervous anticipation in their stomachs. Their son had been a constant source of surprise all day, and they couldn't wait to see what grand finale he had in store. With steady hands, two trainers hoisted Kevin onto Dahlia's back, securing him carefully. Go, Dahlia, go. The little boy yelled, a beaming grin splitting his face. The colossal orca, a symphony of power and grace, glided through the water. Kevin perched proudly on her back. He waved exuberantly, half towards his parents, half towards the roaring crowd. The show concluded, but not before Lars Markson, microphone in hand, addressed the awestruck stadium. He introduced Kevin, highlighting his extraordinary talent, and then presented a life-changing question. Would you like to be a part of Ocean World? Such a unique gift couldn't be ignored. Kevin, his eyes sparkling, inquired if his parents could join him. Receiving an enthusiastic nod of approval, he turned to his mom and dad, and with a shy but resolute nod, sealed his fate. Yes. He whispered, his voice echoing the vastness of his newfound future. After the show's electrifying finale, Kevin, Lars, and his parents huddled together, their faces a mix of exhilaration and disbelief. They spent the next few hours mapping out a plan. Kevin, dubbed the Orca Whisperer by the adoring crowd, would be welcomed back once a month to participate in the show his talent nurtured while adhering to his studies. It was a decision made with careful consideration, ensuring education remained his top priority. Two years have passed since that extraordinary day. Now a seasoned seven-year-old, Kevin carries the title of experienced orca trainer with pride, possibly the youngest ever to hold such a title. Every spare moment outside of schoolwork and homework finds him immersed in the world of his beloved orcas, his bond with them deepening with each passing day. His aspirations, to become a professional trainer one day, of course, but Kevin understands the importance of education. The love he shares with the animals at Ocean World, coupled with the promise he made to his parents and Lars, fuels his motivation to excel in all aspects of his life. He has a dream and combined with his unwavering perseverance, one can only imagine the incredible things Kevin will achieve in the years to come.